ran into them in the NCAA tournament. And I was like, what? I was like, bro, oh what did they feed the players in Texas? Well, what did they feed in Caitlin Clark? If I tell you I'm good, probably you will say I'm boasting. If I tell you I'm no good, you know one line. <laughs> Yo, what's good, YouTube? It's your boy, Dr. PG Engine Empress. Got to get money back for the YouTube video. Banger, man. Yes, sir. Yes, baby. I don't know what time it is. The doctor's in the house. Check this out, man. Hey, we got a couple games to talk about today, man. So let me get my notes because we have some things to talk about going on in the WNBA. What's going on, you know? So first off, man, you know, we seen Kennedy Carter, man, CC, the other CC that plays for the Chicago Sky, man. She dropped a season high, not just a game high, a season high. You know what I'm saying? She's doing the things. Dropped 34 points. Damn. I'm sorry. You know what I'm saying? For the Chicago Sky, and Angel Reese is back to her double-double getting ways. You know what I'm saying? She had 13 points and 10 rebounds. And guess what? Not only that, they scored eight consecutive points for the Sky in the fourth quarter. When I say they, I'm talking about AR, Angel Reese, whatever you call her, because she's out there looking like two people sometimes. You know what I'm talking about? And, <laughs> and she had a huge putback towards the end of the game to put Asia Wilson and the Aces away, you know? Wilson had a massive double-double herself. I'm talking about, man, she's looking like the MVP, the runaway MVP this year again. You know, she had 28 points and 14 boards, but it just wasn't enough, you know? The Sky beat the Aces for the first time in two years, I believe it was, something crazy like that, and eight tries. So it took them eight tries to do it, but they finally beat the Aces by a score of 93 to 85, and they did an exceptional job frustrating Kelsey Plum, you know, she's a beast, but they shut her down. She struggled from the field going four for 17 with only eight points. But shout out to Kelsey Plum, you know, she be doing her thing, you know what I'm saying? So the Aces fall to the Chicago Sky, 93 to 85. That was a good win, man. And you know, like I said, there was a lot of games to go with. I mean, I mean to talk about, but we're going to talk about the main ones, you know, to keep the main thing the main thing. But, you know, we also had the New York Liberty. You know, they're their first place, you know, they're the best team in the WNBA. You know what I'm saying? Brianna, Brianna Stewart and uh, John Quell Jones and Sabrina Ionescu, they're tough to beat. You know, and they beat the second place Connecticut Sun. But that is a perfect way to segue into the breaking news regarding the trade. So, in trading news of the WNBA, Marina Mabry from the Chicago Sky, who we just talked about earlier, she was traded along with a 2025 second round pick from the Chicago Sky to the Connecticut Sun for Mariah Jefferson and Rachel Banham and excuse me, some other picks for 2025 and uh, 2026, you know, first round picks that is. And, you know, I think this guy will miss Marina Mabry, uh, you know, her contribution uh, for the three point line and, and, and some other things are going to be uh, deeply missed about by, by opinion, you know, and not only in addition to that, you know, uh, Marina Mabry, she had more three pointers by herself than the rest of her Chicago Sky teammates combined. But the but the good part about this, though, which is kind of wild, you know, is that Mariah and Rachel, they could both shoot too. However, Rachel Benham and Marina Mabry, they have the exact same three-point percentage. Ain't that crazy? With 34.8. That's wild. It's the exact same uh, three-point percentage. So that's a crazy coincidence, man. You know, but of course, Marina Mabry, she shoots more. She shoots over double the attempts because, of course, she gets a lot more, uh, significant, a significant amount more playing time. So that, that's that's natural, you know. Uh, but I think the trade will work out for both the teams and the players alike, you know, and hopefully we'll see Rachel Banham and Mariah um Mariah Jefferson get more playing time than they usually get usually uh, got before. And I think Maria May, Marina Mabry will definitely help out the Connecticut Sun, you know, and, and add to more shooting, you know. So let's see if they can make some noise from the number two spot to potentially get back that number one spot for the New York Liberty. Now let's talk about the game of the evening. You know, we had the Fever, the Indiana Fever versus the Dallas Wings. Man, that was a great game. It was a great game, man. That game went down to the wire too. The Wings were down, you know, um, late and. J.C. Sheldon, she hit back-to-back -back threes to make it very interesting. And shout out to J.C. Sheldon, Sheldon's uh, uh, sister, too. They, they showed her in the crowd. That was dope. You know, her dancing again, her groove. I don't talk about getting jiggy with it. I see you, girl. You know what I'm saying? But it was a one-point game into the four, going into the fourth with a minute and 32 seconds left. But then the wings, you know, they just kind of took control towards the end, you know. Uh, the all-star, Arike Agumbawali and Odyssey Sims both had 24 points apiece and another 17-point uh, contribution came from Natasha Howard, you know, for the wings. Agumbawali, man, 
saying? She hit a nice turnaround fadeaway jumper in crunch time to put the wings up by four, you know, making it a two possession game. And CC, you know, she had a crucial turnover with about 35 seconds left of the game, which essentially sealed it for the wings. You know what I'm saying? So once again, you know, those turnovers, she was turnover stricken this game, but it wasn't all bad though. Of course, you know, Aaliyah Boston, she had a, she had a game high in points at 28 points and, and, and Caitlin, uh, she contributed 24, man. Not to mention it, not to mention that, you know, yes, they lost the game. You don't want to prioritize winning, but CC, you know, she back to her record breaking ways and she broke another record for the WNBA with the most assists in a game with 19 dimes. I'm talking about she dropping dimes on him. You know what I'm talking about? So she became, now in addition to that, she also became the first player to record at least 29 points, I'm sorry, 20 points and 15 assists in one game. You know, she had at least 20 points and 15 assists in one game. She's the first player to do that as well. Yeah. You know, so that's very good stuff coming from Caitlin Clark, old CC. However, like I said, the Wings win by a score of 101 to 93 and the game, you know, it was it was really closer. It was even closer than what the score uh, suggests. You know, it was an eight point loss for the Indiana Fever, but it was, like I said, it went down to wire and that was a great game, you know, so it was even closer than the final score suggests, man. So shout out to the uh, Dallas Wings and the Indiana Fever. You know, the Dallas Wings have been struggling as a team this year, uh, but yeah, they got the win over CC, Aaliyah Boston, Kelsey Mitchell, and the rest of the company, you know what I'm saying, the rest of the gang over there at the Indiana Fever. So that wraps it up for the games that went down today and yesterday, but check this out. But wait, there's more. This weekend, we have all-star festivities. Let's get it. You know, we got the all-star game highlighted, of course, by the USA national team versus the Team WNBA, where we'll finally see, we'll finally see, excuse me, AR and CC teaming up instead of going at it. So we're going to finally see Caitlin Clark and Adrian Reese, the two rivals, you know what I'm saying, get to team up and see what they can do together as opposed to being on the opposite uh, sides of each other, man. So this is going to be exciting. You know, this start that starts this weekend, and I, I, I can't wait. You know, I'm going to tune in. I'm going to keep y'all up to date as well, but I appreciate y'all rocking me as always. You know what I'm saying? Don't forget to like the video, but most importantly, don't forget, with God, we can do anything. Without God, we are nothing. So y'all be easy. Take care of yourselves. The doctor's out. Peace! From the hood to college, both worlds, they had to meet. Six degrees between us, so cold, we're about to freeze. But we're Florida boys, hot takes, we bring the heat. We're moving the culture, the engineers to the streets.